say my name But it's thinking of her I don't want to know, don't want you to go And leave me behind No I don't want to see if it isn't me Oops, I need you There's something. Right, so I'm thermaling now just with the tourist position brakes. And it's thermaling quite adequately. It's coming around in a reasonably tight turn. But it's quite a lot of muscle that you need for that. It's a bit easier if you put your hands through and have a slightly higher brake position. Yeah, that's more comfortable there for me. Right, he's climbing faster than me and he's upwind of me, so I'm going to move upwind. Always try and do that when you can. There's a nice call there. Around we go. Yeah, these thermals are very short-lived at the moment. And they're not enough to get me away from the hill. Just to glide out, hoping for something. The guy in front of me is climbing slightly relative to me, so it's worth carrying on gliding. Continue on with this track. Uh, he's sinking out now. There's nothing on the hill. There's nothing off to the left, so I'm going to go right. Something there, waiting for it to be sustained. It's gone back to zero there. The lift was somewhere around here. Somewhere there. Still nothing on the left. A little something out in front. I see that the wind has switched over there. It's gone more southwest. It was running west northwest earlier. It's now coming straight towards me, so it's going to start pushing different air in onto the hill. Instead of being in the lee of this hill on the right, we're now going to have some air coming in over those warm fields.
2.4, it's really not that much. It's a very light climb, but it's worth working these little things just to maintain or gain a little bit of altitude, just to stay in the game for longer. Okay, he's got a nice climb out in front of me. I need to join him without getting in his way. I'm waiting for him to complete his turn. No, he's coming all the way around behind me. Just keeping it steady, not doing anything wild. Try to stay somewhere around the center of the thermal. This might be good enough to leave the hill with, we'll see. If I can hold on to it. So let's talk about the performance trap. You might think that a beginner glider, one meant for schooling, is going to be no good for getting up and doing cross country and flying and you know it's going to hold you back and <laughs> okay uh, there's still a bunch of guys over there trying to get away on various kinds of gliders and here we are on the sonata promise you it really is it's a fee sonata it's a ena uh, it's a first wing and it's intended for training students and uh, flying away from your getting your solo license. Very calm, very reassuring, lovely, easy to fly. But equally, you can get up. I was staying with the other guys. I'm gliding now, I'm following somebody else. There's very little difference in it. And really, you'll have so much confidence on something like this that you'll probably be flying a lot more in a lot, pla a lot more places and exploring and just having a good time. So don't discount getting something simple because you think you need more performance because the performance comes from here, not from there so much. We're going to find some lift here. We'll put you on the helmet so long. Lovely stuff. Seem to be something there. 